Hi, my name is Lito Sandoval, and I'm inviting you to Donde Esta Mi Gente, Festival of Latino Poetry and Spoken Word on April 5th, 12th, and 19th. This is called No More Waiting. Mijo, sometimes we are the same, sitting silent on sofa with thoughts that center only on the other. We fight to find the right fit of jeans, shoes, and when we find the right fit in each other, we stay away. Silent, longing, looking to futures, creating scenarios, but never making that first move. Pretending to be pawns when truly we are knights, kings who should be taking victory in each other. I will wait for you forever, but truly I cannot wait forever. No more consulting and reconsulting cards, beads, stages of the moon. When I say I need you here and now, it is because I need you here, need you now. When did you first start writing? I, I started writing like as a, in high school and then I just didn't tell anybody. So I had like a hidden journal that I hid from everybody and I, I, don't, I don't even know if I still have that stuff, but I, I wrote a lot. And then I didn't start taking it seriously probably until college. How come you didn't tell anybody? Um, and see, this is like, you know, the early 80s. So I was writing about a lot of queer shit. In secret, I checked out John Retchie's City of Night back then. And of course, I hid that. <laughs> and little did I know that he was a, a you know, Latino writer. Growing up, I really liked Steinbeck, and then what got me into poetry? Probably Patti Smith, um, the, Ho the Horses album, and Easter, their books, and then discovering uh, Federico Garcia Lorca was just wow. Favorite superhero? I like the iconography of Superman, and that whole, I don't know, my lefty friends will be upset, but the whole American dream of Superman. <laughs> What's your favorite restaurant in the, in the city? The city has so many good restaurants and so many expensive restaurants, but I like little mom and pop shops. And well, I like El Tomate because it reminds me the most of my family's cooking. Where's that? It's on 24th at Florida or Alabama. I don't think I have one piece of advice. I would say write what you feel, continue to write, but be open to criticism. I, I think that a lot of younger writers have a habit of thinking the rawness on the page is, is the power, but it's actually the refinement on the page. So don't expect brilliance to come out immediately and you know it may for some it may but be open to editing and receiving constructive criticism what are you most proud of my ability to bounce back i guess i mean i've been through having the arthritis my body breaks down and i eventually have to have surgeries so it's just uh yeah i guess really my ability to just get back out there. Why I couldn't. I can't look you in the, the eye. Your beauty is beyond me. Though I catch your glance and your smile, something seems to hold me. Though all your actions say, come on, there's a force that controls me. It makes me sit, makes me pass up a warm opportunity. The voice that doesn't